All right, today we're playing Manifold Garden. It looks insane. This is quite the puzzle game. I've seen the trailer for it, and I'm really excited to give it a go. Uh, the artistic style is beautiful, and even the sound design, is, as you can hear in the background, it is very, very nice. So we're going to give it a go. I have no idea what to expect, uh, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so fair warning. Uh, if you have issues with epileptic seizures and, and uh, flashing images, might not be the video for you. Space bar. Oh. What? <gasps> oh. Okay, so I pointed at this white wall and it let me switch. Or can I just switch at any time I want? E to grab the cube. Oh my goodness. Okay, I want to stay this way. Shift plus WSD is to run. Okay. Am I supposed to shatter through this? Oh. This is trippy already. Okay, I like it. Alright, nice. So we gotta find our way to find a yellow cube of some sort. We got one here. So I think this is just giving you the idea of the controls. So this one you have to pick up and actually drop it on it. And we gotta grab this. And then move back into this room. Drop this here. E, e drops it, which is nice. All right. So am I gonna? Wa I need to be very mindful of my surroundings. So I can't select this if I'm not on the surface. Yeah. See, it's it turns green when I'm on that surface. So we've got blue down here. Okay. So we just need to do both halves. So I think this is trying to show you that. You have to be on that side to actually make it work. Oh, I lost the cube. Oh, that's wild. Okay, so these cubes, I think they can only, yeah, they can only be carried in that direction and they can only be picked up on that direction too. So I gotta like place it up here and then go up there. Making sense so far, but it's very trippy. Okay, onwards. Okay. So we have a green piece. Huh. So I think I can place the blue cube if this green is in front of this one falling. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which direction it is, but as long as the blue cube can sit on that wall, we're, we're good. It's a tree. The tree is blossoming blue cubes. Should I bring this one with me? I think I shall. It, is it repeating? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it repeats. <laughs> I can also go sideways. Oh. I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to solve that, but I'm on the wrong side. Am I upside down now? I am upside down. All right. I get the idea. So it's like infinitely repeating. Okay, what's this thing? Things are happening. Oh, I see a green spot. Oh, what is happening to me? Okay. So we've got a green square down there for a door. Go in here. Go this way.
I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so similar idea here. I think we're going to have to... Wait. I think I need to do something like this. Because I don't think I can bring this high enough. Yeah. And I grab that. Okay, neat. We have a bit of a double platform situation. I see the, the tree. So it would seem I need to find a way to bring this up to that platform. Doesn't look like I can make it. Are there two? There are two. Oh. Huh. Okay, so we only have one use of it. I have to place this in the tree somehow and climb it? Got to use my thinking cap. Can I grab it from on the platform? Wait, the this tree is blue. I might need to use this blue one to find a way to grab the red. I have two of them. No, I don't have two of them. I'm so confused. I thought there wasn't one in that tree. Oh, I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. So I have to do something like this, maybe? That's not quite it, huh? I don't know why I thought that would work. Why am I struggling with this? If I drop that, it goes down. Can I not grab several of these? Oh, this one I can grab several of them. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, so I think we're basically going to want to do what I just did. But bring it closer to the ground. I wonder how you know when there's enough or you have the uh, the max amount of, I guess, fruit. I'm not really sure what you want to call these, like, square things. But it would be nice to know, like, what is the max amount you can grab from a tree. There we go. This door is open. It must be the number of fruit on the, the tree, even though it, the one that you have regrows, I guess in case you lose it. Here, okay, back to this. Does this link back to the room we just did? It does. Oh, I see the color is different when it's been used. That must be what it's saying. Oh. Okay, so we have different different towers linking to that one. Okay. So similar idea, we got to do a different puzzle in this section to unlock this tower. So let's let's give this one a go. This one has to do with stairs maybe? white cube is not okay I think the cube was just to show you can stand on that piece similar idea here so you can stand on the cubes that you place good to know we have two red red cubes this time Which way does this tree face? I'm assuming we have to place it like that. Is that going to be high enough? Is there two? Oh, you know what? 
I think I need both here for a brief moment. Now, if I stay this way, that one should stay regardless, right? Yeah, okay. Neat. Not a bad puzzle. That might have been the whole thing. Just showing you can stand on different blocks. Yeah. Okay. We grab that one and we take this one over to the platform. We've learned a few things. That the trees can uh, grow more than one cube. Based on, based on the number of cubes there is. And uh, you can stand on the blocks that you place. I am liking how the puzzles are being introduced to the player. I think it's done pretty well. The tree, um, I feel like I was probably supposed to learn earlier that the tree has, uh, you know, more than one cube that can be placed. But if you have one cube only, you can only use that one. But I'm just not observant enough. <laughs> so, let's go in here. Alright, what is this one trying to teach me? I've got one. One cube. Yeah, the, the difference in color is important. It's looking like I'm going to have to get up here somehow. We have a yellow tree, too. With one. I think something like that would work. Okay, creating a bridge. Not not a hard concept. I'm hoping that there's more to this section than, than to just that. That might have been it, though. <laughs> that was it. Okay. Well, I mean... Still a neat concept, but nothing, like, crazy. It was very similar to the previous puzzle. I was at all of them. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? I have a feeling things are about to get very crazy. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Let there be darkness. I have to get up there. Do I want this cube? Wait, what the heck? What is happening? Oh, when I hold this, it... It changes. I think I'm gonna go like this then. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what is going on? Did I die? Hold E. Blue complete. What? I'm very intrigued, but also very confused. It looks like if I fall through this green hole, I'll go to a new zone. Oh. What? Different colors. Is that this is this the level we're in? This is infinite too. Oh, blue is complete. Yeah, this is like blue. Okay, and this is going to be the final area linking. So it looks like we have to go to red next. But how do I get to red? Through here. Well, this is new. Okay, I think I'm on the right track now. I was a little bit disoriented, but we have a new platform. What if I fall? I don't know where I am anymore. 
Um. Okay, so I, I'm back here. What is going on? I'm just gonna take a little stroll. Okay, I see kind of where I want to go, but I don't know if this was the intended solution to get there. Let me just grab that real quick. Okay, we're here. Okay, we found an orange cube uh, spot. Is this the same location I was at before? I'm trying to figure out how often it repeats. This is a different direction now. Also, this is green. This floor is yellow. And when I come up here, does this have something up here? It does not. So where does this lead to? A door. Where does this lead to? Nothing. I can admit when I'm lost. I'm a little lost. This this location looks new though. This spot right here. I haven't been down here. I'm looking for a cube. Any cubes? <laughs> it's got to be something to do with the colors. The smoke is a bit disorienting. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, and all this smoke is making it very hard to see where I'm going. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> um, I want to go back to that section that I was at with that big tower, but I can't find it. I think I f okay, I found it. What is this trying to tell me? I understand that the different colors are based on the different directions. And I'm not sure if this is trying to tell me that like purple is that way. I'm on I'm on yellow. This is red, blue, green, purple, blue, orange. Okay, I'm standing on orange. So I am facing orange right now. Do I have to go in the orange door first? No. To be honest, I don't even know how to leave this place, if it, even if I wanted to. It has to be that. I'm back here. Can I leave, please? Am I supposed to land on this? I don't feel like that's the way I'm supposed to like solve this puzzle. This doesn't make any sense. I'm missing a bunch of cubes. And I don't know where they are. <laughs> this one's lit up white. So this is my way back out. I'm scared of that zone. Give me one sec. I'm going to look around. Am I supposed to bring this with me? I might need to bring this with me. That was all I was missing. Well, that is terribly upsetting. Oh, what the... Okay. <laughs> I spent way too much time in that room. Very nice. Okay, new zone. Two orange blocks. I will take it with me. Pretty straightforward. Bring one to both sides, maybe? 
Now, is this telling me this level is going to be having to do with symmetry? This one goes down, but we're at the top again. So, I think that was showing like some sort of symmetry and asymmetry with Euclidean, non-Euclidean space once again. So, that might be the concept where we have to go down to go back up. Where the heck are we now? I see an exit there. And it repeats. I think we're also on the same surface. I think the question is, how do we get to that door? And I think it looks like something like this. Something like this. <laughs> this game is insane. Oh, there's actually a door on the other side. I don't know if it's the same door. It might be. But I never saw it. Okay, so this like causes a wall to show up. Okay, so we have something causing the floor to appear. We might need to go below it though. I'm just going to check underneath there for a second. So yeah, we have another cube right here. And that is the one that's going to win us the level. So we have another side. Okay, I get it. Okay, so we want to do something like, where is it? Is that the white line? It is at the white line. Like this. We're going to place it. Right there. Let go. Very cool. It's in, I can't even imagine designing a game like this. Okay, so that, that repeats over there. I see that it comes back to this area. We've got a bridge that is not together, and we have a bridge that, or a door that is closed. The wall is being created by the cube in the room, and I see a non-Euclidean gate, potentially. So that's how we get in, the, in that room. We need to look for a gate. Oh, there's a gate. It was not that one. This is a multicolored tree. Oh, so they can go both directions. Very cool. So we have two, two fruits. <laughs> I'm going to call them fruits. I have no idea what to call them. Now the question is, how do I actually get, get it so I can use this one? I think I get what I'm supposed to do. I have to use these in a way that I can grab this one. Oh, it just falls. Oh, snap. Okay. So I got to stack both of them out like this. Love the concept. Super, super cool. The duality of these blocks means that they'll fall off the wall if you don't have it in the right direction. But this should work. And as long as I'm not in the direction of those, they should stay. Oh my goodness. We just straight up like didn't do the other part of that puzzle. And I'm not sure if I'm coming back to it. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Let's repeat. No, it looks like it's changing. That's the tower we're climbing down, and we have a maze? Oh, there's a bunch of H's. <laughs> or I's. Are we getting closer to the bottom? That is the question. I think we are. Okay, we've got a... A yellow... A yellow... Thing here. Do I want to be going down there with this? Oh no. <laughs> it repeats down there too. Okay, so I think we went in here to retrieve the fruit. Sorry, the key. 
Now, can I get the key out this way? It doesn't look like it. I think I could if I wanted to. Yeah, definitely. Do I want to, though? Oh, there's a lip here. I mean, that's not necessarily horrible. Oh, but can I grab it again? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can. I see the end. Now, is it right below me? I think it is. I think it's this thing. It totally was. Yeah, we skipped a lot. Nice. Using our thinking caps once again. I'm going to go through here and see what we got next. Um. Okay, let's go over to this button. Which way did it come from? That way. Okay. That is not what I clicked. I got some gravity puzzles. Definitely just an introductory idea. I'd love to see more complex gravity puzzles in the future. Okay, do we want to deactivate this? Okay, that lets us through here. And we're here. Okay, we found the next uh, corrupted darkness thing. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what to call it. Okay, this staircase looks like it needs to be finished. Very nice. Ah, I see a big gravity puzzle in the middle there, the tunnel. And I see we have like something we can activate there maybe. How do we get out of here? I see a tree. I also see this tree. Okay, so we gotta bring the the corrupted one to this room. So I think for now we have to use this red cube to go outside and activate that to get the gravity puzzle working. So, what do we want to do here? How do we want to get there? This can only be... Oh, this is actually the wrong direction. But I see somewhere we can activate. Let me put this here for now. Okay. Oh. Okay. So that is stopping, but we need something to Make that go further? We need an orange cube. This is where it has to go. Oh! Yeah, we have to pass this somehow. We do have a cube over here. I totally forgot about this, this tree. This is still a red plant. Is this the same red... Or the same one? Maybe it's in here. Oh, no way. <laughs> uh, We're back here? Did I start here? Look at the cube over there. Um... I'm scared. Can this cube go in that different direction? Oh, I'm about to try. Oh no, I fell. Oh, come back, cube! Oh gosh. Oh, see, this one doesn't work. There's so many different steps, and it really depends on which way you take which steps you take in a specific order. Okay, now I can go through. Where is it? I lost track. Okay, so definitely go this way. 
And then it's just gonna sh go shooting down. I'm not sure where it's gonna go. Oh no. Uh oh. Um, can we just grab here? Okay, I'm on the track that it's coming to. That's kind of helpful. And it's going to fly over here. I think I can just land right here. Nice. So that's one piece. Oh, that was it. I feel like I didn't utilize everything. There was something inside the one room. So I need the, I need the tree. Where is that red tree? Is it right? It's on top. Wait, I lost. Uh, I'm going to reset. I'm going to open this first. Because I need to be able to get into that room to drop off the, the corrupted cube. The cube is right there, actually. I'll just fall to it. Okay, where's the staircase? Here it is. Oh, whoa. Perfect. Now we can take this. Okay. I think we're about to finish uh, the second one here. I feel like I didn't do everything, though. Oh, what is happening over there? Very cool. Red complete. All right, I learned. I learned my mistakes. I learned from my mistakes. I'm taking this with me. The way that it's refracting the light is super cool. Oh my goodness! Wait, I get it. We're in this. This is like. This is the same zone. This is insane. <laughs> this game is so cool. Onwards. I don't usually get uh, encapsulated by puzzle games very often, but the puzzles have been actually pretty decent. I mean, they're not super difficult, but oh, we're finally in this tree room, by the way. All right, so we have a way of getting out of here with the blue cube, and I think I see where we need to take it. So what does this do for us? Venture onwards. Okay. Got a fountain. That is required to be opened by a giant cube? Oh, a stream of water? And we just stop it? Okay, we've got some water puzzles. And this just grew another tree. And I can rotate this? This changes the direction of the stream! Okay, I get it. Very cool. And that close. This one needs to be here. We've got an additional... Cube. Surely it's through this right here.
Okay, we have a green door. The stream needs to move. Here. Are there any more cubes? No. Okay, so we have the corrupted... What is this? A corrupted tree thing? Huh. I see a wheel here. Oh, I see. This grows more of them. It's probably going to give me two. Oh! That just repeated itself by falling all the way down. Alright, so this gives me more to work with here. So that activates that. Is there a way to split only half of it so it goes like partially? So what does this one do? So I feel like we need to create some sort of indefinite stream. So what if I go this way with it? Because that'll come back. Well, let's go follow it. <laughs> I didn't mean to fall, but it'll come right back to where it started, right? So I'm seeing some sort of clue here. All right, time to use our thinking cap again. Does this create a stream across here? It does. Is that kind of what I, what I want to do? Oh, this is like to create another tree. Right. So all I want to do is create a tree right now. How do I do that with two blocks? Am I missing one? I am missing one. I didn't notice that second cube there. Sorry if you were yelling at me through your screen <laughs> to, <laughs> to grab the other cube. My bad. Alright, so we grow this tree. So this will give us what we need because we can go through this and come back around. This gives us lots to work with. If we go through this one first. What does that do for us? It might hit this. Oh, no way. We're back in here again. <laughs> and the stream of water is falling into the zone. I love that it brings you back to that area each time. Okay, so we have a lot of cubes to work with. So I, I'm assuming... It might just be straightforward bringing it around this corner. Wait, I can go this way, I think. That probably will do it. Huh, ha, 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 ha. This one definitely has to go first. I don't think we can go this way because that, that cube's going to be in the way no matter what. So let's go this way. This looks like it'll probably work. Actually, we're one. We don't need it. All three of them. Do I need the last one? This is just done. Oh, shoot. I might need this. Looks like I just fall though. That wasn't too bad at all. I definitely think that the water puzzles could have been a little more difficult. And they gave me more cubes than I even needed. I feel like there could have been like some really cool puzzles where it re you really need to be really efficient with your cubes to get the desired effect. And there could have been some puzzles where the water stream hitting lower tiers moves the water stream for you to a different platform. 
Still pretty cool though, and the visuals are insane. Green complete. This is a smaller cube this time. <laughs> Why is it so tiny? to look a little better in here. Okay, blue cube. Huh? <laughs> Is this like frozen time or something? I have two green cubes suspiciously hiding up here. Okay, so the stream is the stream is moving when it's green, and I think we need to make it so the platform actually goes to where I need to go. I need to look at this again. How do we get here? If instead the plat the bridge goes here, seems pretty easy. So simple enough, we just do this. Which one was the one that I... I got lucky. I just guessed. So this should do the desired effect. Now the bridge goes right across. And I can just probably fall down there and grab a new cube. Interesting. Did that always happen? Was the stream always frozen in a different direction? I don't know. We got a water stream that can open this door. Looks like we're back in this zone. Never mind, we're not back in this zone. What is go what? So it's looking like we're going to have to do some non-Euclidean water stream nonsense. I think that's pretty close to where it needs to be. And we have to go over here. It might come from up there. So, I'm going to bring some more cubes. I'm just preemptively solving this puzzle. Where's... This is a different... Okay, that's looking at... It's basically just repeating rooms in different directions. We're back up here. Okay, so it's a bit of a loop. In a weird way. And I see the stream room. It must be... <laughs> How do we get in there? Is the stream actually here? There's a cube in this room. What happens? I understand it's a different room. I just don't know how to get there. I feel dumb. Is this door a thing? No, it is not. Look below that too. There's a bunch of cogs. Where does that door come from? This has no... Oh, there's two doors here. Oh, man. I didn't even notice they were next to each other like that. A little frustrated with myself, but it's no big deal. Where's the last one? Which one did I not use? I put it up there somewhere. Oh boy. Did I get lucky again? I did. All right, so a little a little unobservant with the double door, but that's okay. It happens. I was thinking it was a little more complicated. 
That's my brain trying to like overcomplicate things. But we shall move on. We're finally in this room, which means we can finally do this double double bridge action here. Very nice. Okay, so the wagon or the uh, the wheel, the water wheel is activated. The wagon. <laughs> I don't know why I said wagon. <laughs> Has to come in here, down the stairs. Let's just start. I'm sure it'll make sense in a second. Very linear puzzle. That wasn't really a puzzle. That was like the only thing you could do. That's what I'm talking about. I, I think the game is very, very neat. I think it falls short on a couple puzzle elements, but overall very, very cool. The visuals kind of outweigh the cons of the puzzle complexity. I see some sort of like tractor beam. Are those triangles? So I think that pulls or changes the polarity. It does. Now, why do I need two? Do I want to change the other one? I'm not going to change the other one for now. Let's, let's just flip this. Okay, so I need to bring the other one over here and then switch it back to orange. So introducing polarity change, which is kind of nice. I'm sure it'll be more complicated than just up and down, too. So where are we going here? Can I nail it? Boom. I see, uh... Oh, I thought it was a potential doorway up here, but it's not. Can't walk up this, either. We're going places. Hmm. Actually, right, so we've got some buttons on the ceiling and on the floor. We have a gateway here, so we get a, we get access to a blue block. So we're currently looking for a red block. I think we just came from here. Uh, actually. We did not. This gets, it gets us to the other side, but I'm not sure if that even matters. It does not matter. Looking for a red cube, please. Wait a minute. Two red cubes. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I see there was two different directions. Let's grab this red cube, bring it over to the other button that was on the floor. And then we'll go from there and figure out where which way we want to go. I, I'm not really sure what the next step is. Oh. Well, I think I've determined what the next step is. Oh yeah, we can't open that without the other one. Okay, so we do definitely need to go in this red door. 
which is where exactly? There it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're getting... Okay, this is more like it. More puzzle elements. This is giving me very, very big portal vibes. So we would want to grab... The red block to go across the bridge. Switch the polarity. I can actually grab this cube from here. Now, what does that allow me to do? What would be the reason for that? To bring the red cube up here. So we need the yellow cube to, that we originally made the bridge with. But first I need to use the yellow cube to allow me to grab the red cube right here. And the other one was on the floor. Wait, the other one needs to be red too. So I need to grab it from the tree again. Uh... I changed the wrong one. Oh, <laughs> this one, this left one is the yellow one. Which is what I thought. I grabbed this one. I could have sworn I grabbed the yellow one last time. Thinking with portals. Yes, sir. I would imagine we're probably coming up to the end of this section. All right, so different directions to take. Okay, all of the same directions to take. So it's going to be like this. What is this going to do for us? We need different trees. So a dual polarity. Where is the fruit? There it is. So I think that dual polarity is simply to put this up here. But that's going to mess up if I go on this direction. But that should be okay because... It'll fall down here. And then as long as I don't go that direction again, which is on that far wall, we should be good. There we go. We need to do purple first. Just order of operations. Okay, we have a blue tree. One quick button. Now we have access to this blue one. What in the world is that? That's going to go when I... Oh, that's what that noise was. When I flipped the direction, it flew up there, I think. That's what the big thunk was. So if I go down like this... I'm just going to open all these. I don't know if it's important, but I like to do it. Okay. So. Oh my goodness. I don't quite know what to do with this block yet, but let's just mess around with this room. What is the end goal we're trying to do? Oh. Wait, if I flip this right now, these are gonna be like in the middle of nowhere. They're stuck. 
I see the... Okay. I see a red cube and I see a plant in this direction. So let's go in this door here. Okay, we can't. We have to go in this room through the floor and be able to retrieve the red. And that needs to connect... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, this is more like it. I don't even know where the cubes are at this point. I think I want this direction to bring this back down. Yeah. So those are connected now. So if I had a block to place here, it would be good. But I can't do red first. Red needs to be after that blue. Where did I put the blue block? <laughs> I don't know where I put it, but I'm going to fall back down here. Or is this green? This is green. So I got to figure out the order of operations. This one needs to be opened with a green block to get the other green block out. So we need to find the blue side. We've got to find the blue button to press. There it is. It was right there the whole time. You know, sometimes you just need to observe and understand before you can proceed. So this is going to allow us to get the connection across here and open up that guy. And I think this is like now firmly good to go. This is only going to be open as long as blue and or uh, blue and red is in that direction. So we can go in here and open up these. Okay. So greens are this direction, which means they're going to fall, which means we need stuff here. But this one needs to move in, like, for a second. Oh, I see. We could do it both directions. That wouldn't work. We need to have both falling. I need to do something like this. Get this out of the way. Move this here. Now, it needs to fall. I need to do the other one there too. So let me do this first. So, I need to basically do that again, but the other way. So I need to go on the floor first, grab the purple, make sure I block this one. Which way, do do, which way do I need to get out, though? I need to get out green way. So I need to do this the opposite way. Oh, no. I can't move it. Oh, no. Shoot. Well, that's a problem. Grab this while I'm standing on it. Okay, I just need to redo this. Alright. Easy enough. Just had to do the opposite way. I was doing it on the yellow side, but the green is the way to open the door, so... Flipped it around. Like, we're only one way through this puzzle to get through the tree part. This this game just went insane <laughs> with complexity. I like it. So this is going to allow me to do this next one here. So we're going to need to do a connection with purple, I think. That one's like a, a horseshoe shape. That one's... Oh, that one's the... Horseshoe shape. I need to switch the sides. Do 
These two are hooked together. There we go. Had to loosen it up. This will fall on the other side. And I'm going to get crushed. Did that not do what I wanted it to do? Oh, it did not yet. I got to go this way. I'm going to die if I get crushed there. I actually don't know what happens if I get crushed. I don't know if I want to find out. I mean, I kind of do. Okay, and they designed the puzzles in such a way that if I go in that direction next, I shouldn't have any problems. Because they lock the blocks in place. And we have the spot on top. It should let me in this room now. Not sure why those doors need to be open from the inside instead. But either way. Next puzzle. Ooh. I have to do some stacking, I think. We have to finish by facing this way. So I think what we need to do is have two of them placed in the right direction. Have them stuck in a way that they cannot move. These ones are single direction yellow. So I need to stack them. The greens, I think. These are also single direction green. Huh. Ah, the polarity is going to be the, the game changer here. We only have one of each of these. So we've grabbed both of those. There's a little, a little polarity magic here to make this work. I'm pretty sure we just need to grab this one and do a bit of climbing. Now, how do we want to do this? I think I need to like get it so I can... Which one, which one do I want to finish with? This yellow one needs to not... This one yellow one needs to be up here and we need to flip over and then it'll be good to go. But that isn't enough to... Okay, what am I doing here? It's something like this. I know I know what we have to do. Do I have to like place this? I get it, but I don't. <laughs> I have to think about it for a second. I'm just trying to figure out what the end game is. Flip to green. This one's on the floor over here. And that one's already in the right position. This one will fall, though. Okay, this one has to be the yellow. Because the only one that can be one only yellow. Let's start with this one underneath the block. Oh, we have to end the room like this. It's making sense to me now. Okay. Is it like this? No, it's opposite. This is how we want to do it. And we flip back. And we sneak this up like this. And then we no longer want to be on the yellow side. What was confusing me was how to end this room without breaking it. But we just walk through. <laughs> I don't know why that was so confusing to me. I realized once we could stack the block like that, we could get the yellow, like, tucked in there all nice and then we can leave the room all right we can leave the red zone okay it looks like we're gonna need to grab that block over here so I think if we just go this direction perfect onwards Oh, we found the corrupted tree. This one's locked in place. 
How do we activate it? I'm gonna go with these doors. I see a tree here. This might be something. Okay, where is this one being used? That's the starter room again. I see a line here. Okay. I think we're in the wrong area. I'm trying to look for where I could place this. I see the blue block could move over and it would connect to that line there. That was what that... I think we did that already. Did we go in this one already? I think we did. That was where we were just in. We were just in there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We're back in here. Let's... Oh, we gotta just put this in the tree. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the darkness one. What are we talking about? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm disoriented. We've got to find the yellow button. It's the quest for the yellow button. I also don't know where this used to be. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. I think I figured it out. It's this right here. We need to get the yellow, we need to get this, this red button up here. This isn't needed anymore. This is one of the solutions. So that's going to target. Wait, did we do it? I don't think that was all of it. Maybe it was. What was the point of the yellow block? <laughs> Am I dumb? I must be incredibly dumb. I don't, I don't understand what the yellow block was for. I feel incredibly dumb. I don't understand what's happening. Was that a red herring? Also, I don't know why I couldn't have solved... Like, I obviously couldn't have solved that with the, the pillar, uh, the red pillar, without solving the rest of the puzzles, because I couldn't have gotten into the room. But I don't understand what the what the tree was with the yellow cube. Could have been a red herring, but I don't I don't understand. Yellow complete. Loving the game so far. I think we only have like one or two more zones left. Two more. Very neat. I love the way everything repeats in the game. The way that it just infinitely goes in all directions. So we've got this blue button now. We can finally put that... Oh my god, we're back here. We can finally go in this door. Felt like an hour ago. We can go that way. Or through the middle here. Do 
we've got a way to turn things into other colors. So the tree does try to help you understand which cubes are what. Like this is the red one that just turned, or the yellow one that just turned y red. Oh, no way. <laughs> is this going to do what I think it does? This is going to come over here. Yeah, okay. So we need that to happen over the middle and then have them collapse on each other? I see it. We got to go on that wall there. Okay. I'm so dumb. No. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing this red one. We have a blue one. The question is, how are we going to make this... How are we going to make these both reach the middle? We have to make them, like, bump into each other on the sides. But I'm trying to figure out how to, like, logistically do that. I know what I want to happen, but I don't know how to make it happen. Can't make them flip polarity on the ground. If I place this like this, it's not going to do what I want. It's going to fall to the ground and then it's going to be stuck. How do we flip them? Does it have to do with somehow getting one to like float here stuck with another one on top of it? Huh. <laughs> I think I get it. No, I don't. I don't get it. Something like this where you're, you got them stacked. But still. I need to use a yellow one. I need to use a yellow one, I think. I might be wrong about that, but I'm, I'm going to go with that assumption so far. I need to set up one first. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Well, that's frustrating. No! I was hoping you could do it in some unique way where you're like... You're stuck. Ooh, this isn't going to work, though. Oh, it will. What am I talking about? Just don't go the other way. Me turning them both blue and red right at the start really threw me off, but we're good. And we can go whatever way now because they're both stuck together. I overcomplicated that beyond belief. We have a double button down there. No, 
what is that doing? I guess follow where the where these are going. So here's the button. We need the other half. The other half is through this puzzle somehow. Okay, I see a door. Two cubes and a polarity oh one of these needs to stay in place and then I need to convert it back to a red This one needs to stay afterwards. I need to place this one like here. Um, I need to put this right against the wall, I think. This one above. Ooh, whoops. Like that. And then take the green. Take the green? Yeah, take the green. And place it in there. Okay, yeah. We are now in here. Do I want to grab this? Alright, so I solved it. Nice. Where is the tree? Sweet. It's collapsing. Now, if I remember correctly, I think we only have one more to go. Potentially. Very, very cool, once again. Just don't feel like the puzzles are that difficult. It kind of just, you can kind of just happen upon the uh, the solution as you move around, but I'm enjoying it. One more zone. Remember when I was in here and this is all crazy and <laughs> corrupted? Uh, nice and beautiful. We've got a stream and a tree. I see a wagon wheel over there. So what did that do for me? Because I have... Can I grab that, that... That cube up here again? I can. That's the same repeated tree there. So 
So if I go down this way, what happens? I feel like we gotta get it up there, down that stream right there. Well, I don't feel like that is the solution. So it falls right back down here. What if I go the other way though? Then where does it go? On this spot. But I want it to fall right here. So if that's the case, this needs to be here. So how do we get the stream to fall? Do I have to go up there? I think I just needed this to fall like this. Just rotate the stream up there. Can I fall onto that though? Is there a way for me to get up there? If I was able to rotate the stream right here, it could fall right to that spot. I don't think there's a good way of me getting the cube up here. So that makes me think there's a different way to do this. Go straight through here. What is that? It goes right here again. Where does this go? Like it goes back to this spot, but... Oh, it does fall right onto this spot. So that's the solution. It's right here. Whee! That for fun. Don't worry about it. And then... To the wagon. Wheel. <laughs> the water wheel. All right, we have found the corruption. With some frozen streams. It only flows in the green, but that, that one flows in the blue. Okay, so we have different ways of getting these cubes out of the room. We have a staircase for the blue. Which, le which lets us redirect the, the water. Now, would I want the water to fall this way across here? No. Do I want to follow the stream down there and move it? know as well. This seems too obvious. Please don't tell me this is the obvious answer. It does let me get across. I was facing this way. I could walk across. Yeah, that is the obvious answer. That's a little frustrating. Um, okay. This one's yeah, uh, orange. Where's the green? Is the green even necessary? The green wasn't even necessary. That was such an easy puzzle. <laughs> I'm going to hold my complaints about how easy some of these things are, but like there wasn't much complexity. The geometry of the level definitely sort of form fit my solution. This room's pretty cool. I still need to unlock this. Alright, so we have 
an orange cube. This is probably back to the starting zone, I would imagine. Yeah, we have one more to do. Don't see any doors. I see a tree. I don't know why I'm falling. I could just, <laughs> I could just, you know, do the thing the game was designed to do. That was like a hide and seek puzzle. That final puzzle was, well, potential final puzzle. I'm not even sure there's one more. It was a bit weak. Now, where are we going? No way. No! Where is it? I lost it. <laughs> Get this back. How do we make it in there? It must be from above. Okay, you got me. I have no idea how to get in this room. I see the stream there. I see staircase. Is it below? Like right here? No. I don't see any way in. Oh, I lost the cube again. Over there. No! There's not much to this place. <gasps> I found it. Oh my goodness. How do you get in there? There's the staircase. It's right here. It's a little hidden. I mean, there's a bit of a... Not really a puzzle. More so just... Finding the way back into the room was... A little tough. Better find our way back up. There was one other exit down here. Right here. This should be the way over. I do enjoy that the the way the puzzle the room reinteracted with itself. Alright. Is that the last one? I believe that was orange. Sounds like a boss is about to come. <laughs> what is happening? Collect the rainbow. All right. Ooh, here's the door. And the button is active. Final countdown. Oh, so maybe, maybe we're not done yet. We've got a water stream. I see a tree. I got started a little bit earlier. go should give us one or two more <laughs> zero more 
All right, so we did the one tree. What was the point of that? Up here? That, I heard the noise to the right. That must have been up there. So that's the same area. I don't understand what the point of this tree was. Was the tree just to get across here? I think that's what the tree was for. Yeah, look at that, look how nicely it sets it up. Okay, interesting. That's the first time we've actually used the tree as a platform, so I can appreciate that. But it wasn't the most complicated thing. And I'm not trying to insult the game on like complexity, but definitely visually it's more appealing than the puzzles itself. Now, I think we're on the other side of the tree, yeah. Very cool, very, very, very neat non-Euclidean non-Euclidean geometry. I don't know why I can't say that word. Now, was this just like a red herring? Do we even need these cubes? I don't even... I don't even know if we need these. We don't even need these! <laughs> Alright. I guess I will say having more cubes there will maybe confuse people. But... That wasn't too bad. I'm just gonna fall and go across. Okay, three cubes with a water stream. Work backwards. Looks like one needs to be here, potentially. Most definitely. So it needs to fall down. You might need to do a 360 here. There's a what is that? Whoa. So that one is there. If I change the direction of this water over here, what happens? Where does it go? So I could spin it around and fall down here, but that seems like I would need one more cube or two more, no, one more cube. It originally fell, where did it originally fall? Because I think I could just utilize it where it was. I think it's right here. So let me just do that and get rid of the old one. This one here. I think I can just utilize it here. Yeah, I totally can. Uh, so there appears to be a problem. It just doesn't make it. the cube go this isn't gonna solve my problem I'm only gonna get it here I feel like there's the reason why this frozen uh, stream is here to walk across this part or I need to make the water spill through that down to here. Yeah, okay, that's what I need to do. So where is this door? Yes, I need it to fall right here. Off of this. Into here. Okay. So how do we get it there? Does it? 
allow me to do that here above it does okay so it's just a matter of doing this off this way and then bring this one and it should be ready it's a neat little portal I should have taken more uh, note of that door when I noticed it was a weird portal Ooh, this looks like it's the same tree over and over again it is this is like a lower complexity of this door but it's like binary almost where does this go okay so we need to put a yellow button on this wall that does not seem hard because all we need to do is just fall through the room I just hit a... Okay. Yeah. Now, what does that allow me to do? Walk up here with the other red cube? Maybe? I guess so. Once again, not a very difficult puzzle. <laughs> but very cool in... In, uh... Actual... Like, the way that it actually works. But not difficult. The visuals are amazing. Oh, we have more moving blocks. Am I climbing infinitely? I can't tell. I don't think so. I can't tell if I'm just... Okay. This is something new. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So, we went in a circle. And we're back in here. So, I think it has something to do with this block. That we saw at some point. We might have to travel with it. Is there a faster way to reach it? I missed it. It was right there. We have to find a way to use this. I see. There's the connection. But how do I get the red block? Okay, here's the door. Was there a way to bring a second yellow, a red cube into this room? Also, is there a faster way to do this? <laughs> Please. There's the door. Or the, the hallway. So obviously, I need this door to be open. But I don't, don't need this staircase anymore. Was there a second red cube back here? The yellow one. This one. Is there a way to get up there with the second one? I don't know if there is. So up the staircase. And we have this red button, but we don't have another red cube. And if I let go of this, the door closes. Was there a tree I was missing in that room? Because there's a good chance I didn't look around. I see a tree. It's behind the glass, though. We gotta find the tree in this crazy room. There it is. Go! No! It was right above the button too. Okay, there we go. Give me that. Sneaky bugger. The music's getting a little weird for my liking. Another puzzle here. We got another tree to make on the ceiling. What does this do? Creates a water stream. 
And then that's frozen in time for now. But if I can convert this, maybe? Maybe not yet? This will continue to flow once we resume time. It's another one of those things where we use the tree as a platform. We'll have to find out. This is now a... Yes. Okay, I get it. It makes a polarized red and blue. Now, why would I want or need that? That's why. Huh. This isn't going to be good, though, because it's going to fly off the second I go... Oh, I can go this way. Like this. That's not going to matter, though, because once I do this, it's going to... Okay, I can get out. I got concerned. How do I get this guy to stay? It's got to be something to do with canceling these... With... Holding the red one up. I say we also need a red one. There's a blue down there. Let's grab this. And do this for now. So this one's going to give us the one door. We need a red in here. Why do we need the stream exactly? Was it the stream we used before? That was the stream we used before. I'm so dumb. We just need the polarity. Uh, Am I going backwards? I don't think I am. I'm just so confused. I guess it was just a way to bring the red cube down there because otherwise you couldn't go up into that room. Okay. New zone. We got two purple purple cubes. That's frozen now. I'll go this way. To the tree. We've got a water stream that could potentially fall all the way down here. Actually, most definitely, it's going to fall from somewhere. Looks like maybe that, that wall there. Let's grab this other one. Where's the other one? There it is. So it starts. It starts here. Where does that go when I do this? Back to itself. Ah. So we have to use the other blocks to create a longer stream. Um, where does this need to go? Now, why does this matter? <laughs> See, if we go this way, like that, our block is going to fall. Grab it! And we need to bring this one back this way. So this is going to go like this. Actually, it's going to go like this. Well. I need to go back up this way like that. And where are our blocks? I hope that made sense to everybody. Uh, it's kind of just... I was just looking at the blocks. I was like, they need to make some sort of path. 
for the, the water stream. Oh boy. So is this going to cause like an indefinite... This is going to swap the positions of these. So what am I trying to accomplish with these? <laughs> I need to get up there somehow. This is actually a floor. So I see a staircase. I see a tree there too. Did I grab those already? I did not. Well. This one's blocking the stream. I don't think that's a good a good thing though. I think I just solved it. Don't ask me how. Maybe not. Where are we trying to go with this? Where is the Where is the receptacle thing for this? It's up there? Okay, here it is. Okay, so we most definitely did not solve it. Let's go this way. I'm trying to go the other opposite way. I keep falling to the same side. Here we go, and then... Like, no. Won't let me grab it. Oh, this is frustrating. There we go. That was not it. I need to get this one to move backwards. And I, for some reason, cannot... There we go, for the life of me. What? I have these, like, intertwine or something. There. Okay, and then this way. Oh, there's that piece. I was I was like, we need one more piece. This is more like it. All right, let's do this. Get to the middle. We need this red one to go up to the other side. So we need to do this and back. See ya. So this should be on the opposite side of the block now. So we need to use the yellow blocks to bring this over like this. And then this should hopefully make it to the water. It does. So these are in the right position. And I think I just need the blocks to redirect it. Like boom, boom. I think there are two yellow blocks. Should be the solution. Oops. Is it hitting it? Okay, I need to go further out. <laughs> Just by a little bit. It should make a noise when I get the right spot. Well, this is just trial and error. Oh, it opened. There we go. Definitely one of the better rooms. I enjoyed that one. Follow the stream.
I'd imagine it's through here. This looks too convenient. Found the rainbow tree. Where does this go? Oh. Oh, here we go. I have two blocks. I think I want to go back to where I started here. Right here. Potentially not, though. I think I'm just slightly off. Go to the right a little bit. That might have been the solution. I hear something happening. I think we're about to f find the, uh, where is it going? No way. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Very nice. Oh, wrong, wrong, uh, stream. Here we are. Did we do it? Whoa. Rainbow cube. We place it in the middle of the starting room, maybe? Whoa. Did we just go through the same thing again? No. We're going through like different realities. <laughs> oh. You can see my cube over there. Just barely. Whoa. <laughs> like I said, the visuals are incredible. Look at that wall. We were just there. That is crazy. We're going from portal to portal. I think this is it. What is this? Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see what they were warning about the uh, epileptic seizures for at the very end of the game. Holy.
It's like a fractal. And now you're just showing off. It is a fractal. This is a fractal. <laughs> I can't remember the name of this 3D fractal, but it is uh, it is very familiar. It's a very familiar shape to me. Wow. Trans I transcended. One of the most visually appealing games I've ever played. And I think there's a lot to be desired on the puzzles side of things. But overall, I, I had a really good time. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. Wow. Incredible ending to the game. One of the first games in a long time I've sat through the whole credits too. What an incredible journey. I feel enlightened and transcended. Hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.